UMS flow well. Performance under pressure. Pick up the first bypass tubing joint, complete with the wireline entry guide, and lower through the rotary table. Set the slips on the tubing joint, so that the box thread is at a working height, and fit the dog collar above the slips. Remove the swivel lift nubbin, and apply more pipe dope to the box thread if required. Pick up the second joint of bypass tubing, and suspend above the first joint. Remove the thread protector, and apply pipe dope to the pin thread if required. Make up to the first joint by hand, and torque with the pipe wrench to 500 foot-pounds. Remove the dog collar and slips. Lower the tubing through the rotary table, and set in the slips at a suitable working height. Fit the dog collar above the slips. Remove the swivel lift nubbin, and apply more pipe dope to the box thread if required. Pick up the third joint of bypass tubing, and suspend above the second joint. Remove the thread protector, and apply pipe dope to the pin thread if required. Make up to the second joint by hand, and torque with the pipe wrench to 500 foot-pounds. Remove the dog collar and slips. Lower the tubing through the rotary table, and set in the slips at a suitable working height. Fit the dog collar above the slips. Remove the swivel lift nubbin, and apply more pipe dope to the box thread if required. Pick up the fourth joint of bypass tubing, and suspend above the third joint. Remove the thread protector, and apply pipe dope to the pin thread if required. Make up to the third joint by hand, and torque with the pipe wrench to 500 foot-pounds. Remove the dog collar and slips. Lower the tubing through the rotary table, and set in the slips at a suitable working height. Fit the dog collar above the slips. Remove the swivel lift nubbin, and apply more pipe dope to the box thread if required. Pick up the fifth joint of bypass tubing, which should have the safety sub already installed, and suspend above the fourth joint. Here we see the safety sub, installed at the top of the fifth bypass tubing joint. Remove the thread protector, and apply pipe dope to the pin thread if required. Make up to the fourth joint by hand, and torque with the pipe wrench to 500 foot-pounds. Remove the dog collar and slips. Lower the tubing through the rotary table, and suspend the bypass tubing at a height suitable to allow installation of the work table. Fit the ESP work table in position, and place the whole cover around the well. Pick up the motor complete with ESP gauge and motor base plug, and position alongside the bypass tubing, orientated so that the painted line on the motor lines up with the bypass tubing. Make up the bypass clamp to the motor base plug and bypass tubing. Lower the ESP so the gauge is at working height, and fit the discharge pressure line. Lower the motor until the ESP lifting clamp lands on the work table, and remove the lifting slings. Pick up the lower seal protector, and position alongside the bypass tubing, orientated so that the painted line on the protector lines up with the bypass tubing. Lower the protector, and bolt onto the motor. Slacken the bolts on the motor lifting clamp, and pick up the ESP slightly, and remove the lifting clamp. Fit the pothead MLE to the motor. Fit a bypass tubing clamp, to the protector base, and bypass tubing. Secure the discharge pressure line, within the recess provided on the bypass tubing clamp. Locate the MLE cable onto the bypass tubing clamp, and secure the cable grip mechanism. Lower the ESP, until the lower protector ESP lifting clamp lands on the work table, and remove the lifting slings. Pick up the upper seal protector, and position alongside the bypass tubing, 
orientated so that the painted line on the protector, lines up with the bypass tubing. Lower the upper protector, and bolt onto the lower protector. Slacken the bolts on the lower seal protector lifting clamp, and pick up the ESP slightly, and remove the lifting clamp. Fit a bypass tubing clamp, to the protector base, and bypass tubing. Secure the discharge pressure line, within the recess provided on the bypass tubing clamp. Locate the MLE cable onto the bypass tubing clamp, and secure the cable grip mechanism. Lower the ESP, until the upper seal protector lifting clamp lands on the work table, and remove the lifting slings. Pick up the pump complete with bolt-on intake, and position alongside the bypass tubing orientated so that the painted line on the pump lines up with the bypass tubing. Lower the pump, and bolt the intake onto the upper protector. Slacken the bolts on the upper seal protector lifting clamp, and pick up the ESP slightly, and remove the lifting clamp. Lower the ESP, so that the base of the pump is at working height. Fit a bypass tubing clamp, to the base of the pump, and bypass tubing. Secure the discharge pressure line, within the recess provided on the bypass tubing clamp. Locate the MLE cable onto the bypass tubing clamp, and secure the cable grip mechanism. Lower the ESP, until the pump lifting clamp lands on the work table, and remove the lifting slings. Make up the discharge pressure sub to the head of the pump, and secure with bolts. Lower the bypass tubing, until the safety sub is at a working height. Fit the safety clamp to the bypass tubing on the ESP work table, and torque the safety clamp bolts to 200 foot-pounds. Remove the swivel lift nubbin from the safety sub. Pick up the wide tool assembly with the elevators, and orientate so that the pump sub, with the check valve and discharge head, is lined up on the ESP side. Lower slowly, and mate the discharge head with the discharge pressure sub. Bolt the discharge head, to the discharge pressure sub. Pick up on the elevators, slacken the bolts on the pump lifting clamp, and remove. Lower the Y tool in the ESP, until the pin thread on the tele swivel, can make up to the safety sub, connected to the bypass tubing. Remove the four grub screws, that are currently retaining the support ring. Unscrew the support ring to release the swivel. Make up the swivel, to the safety sub located at the top of the bypass tubing. Screw the lock ring back up the swivel until it butts out. Screw the support ring, back up the swivel, and secure by reinstalling the grub screws. Remove the bypass safety clamp. Remove the ESP work table. Pick up the string, so that the discharge pressure sub is at working height. Terminate the discharge pressure line, to the discharge pressure sub. Make up the bypass clamp to the discharge head and bypass tubing, and secure the MLE in the cable clip. Lower the system with the elevators, and fit the MLE into the slot of the Y tool block, and secure the cable clips. Lower the Y tool to a working height, and paint a vertical line up the handling sub, indicating the position of the lower ESP orientation. Lower the system, and set the 3.5 inch slips on the handling sub of the Y tool.
pick up the intermediate joint of 3.5 inch tubing, and make up to the handling sub of the Y tool. Pick up with the elevators, and remove the slips. Secure the MLE to the tubing, with a cross coupling cable protector. Lower the system into the well, continuing to paint a vertical line up the intermediate tubing, indicating the position of the lower ESP. Once the top of the intermediate joint is at a working height, set the slips on the tubing, and unlatch the elevators. Using elevators, pick up the first joint of bypass tubing for the upper system, with the 2 and 7 8 by 3 and a half inch crossover, made up to the bottom. Make up the bypass tubing, to the intermediate tubing. Remove the slips, and secure the MLE to the tubing, with a cross-coupling cable protector. Lower the bypass tubing into the well, while extending the painted line from the intermediate tubing up the bypass tubing, until the mark on the bypass tubing, that indicates the top of the support clamp, is reached. Set the bypass tubing in the 2 and 7 8 slips, and fit a 2 and 7 8 dog collar above the slips. Remove the elevators and swivel lift nubbin, and apply more pipe dope to the box thread if required. Pick up the 7th joint of bypass tubing, and suspend above the 6th joint. Remove the thread protector, and apply pipe dope to the pin thread if required. Make up to the 6th bypass tubing joint by hand, and torque with the pipe wrench to 500 foot-pounds. Remove the dog collar and slips. Lower the system, and set the bypass tubing in 2 and 7 8 inch slips, and fit a 2 and 7 8 inch dog collar, above the slips. Remove the elevators and swivel lift nubbin, and apply more pipe dope to the box thread if required. Pick up the 8th joint of bypass tubing, and suspend above the 7th joint. Remove the thread protector, and apply pipe dope to the pin thread if required. Make up to the 7th bypass tubing joint by hand, and torque with the pipe wrench to 500 feet pounds. Pick up on the bypass tubing, and remove the dog collar and slips. Continue to pick up, until the line marking the position for the top of the support clamp is reached, and is at a working height. Set the bypass tubing in the 2 and 7 8 slips, and fit a 2 and 7 8 dog collar above the slips. Make up the support clamp to the bypass tubing, orientating the ESP side of the clamp, in line with the painted vertical line on the bypass tubing, to match the lower system ESP. Secure the lower MLE in the cable slot of the support clamp. Pick up the upper system motor section, complete with gauge and spear. Lower the motor section, alongside the bypass tubing, with the painted line for the motor orientation, lined up with the bypass tubing. Ensure the support clamp spear enters the hole of the support clamp, and the lock nut of the spear lands on the support clamp. Fit the discharge pressure line to the ESP gauge. Remove the dog collar and the slips. Fit the ESP work table. Lower the system with the elevators, while maintaining some tension on the ESP lifting slings, until the motor ESP lifting clamp lands on the ESP work table. Remove the ESP motor lifting slings. Pick up the lower seal protector, and lower alongside the bypass tubing, with the painted line for the seal protector orientation, lined up with the bypass tubing. Bolt the lower seal protector to the motor. Remove the ESP motor lifting clamp. Pick up the bypass tubing, and lower seal protector, to gain access to the motor pothead. Fit the MLE pothead to the motor pothead. Fit a bypass tubing clamp to the protector base and bypass tubing. Secure the discharge pressure line, within the recess provided, on the bypass tubing clamp. Locate the MLE cable, onto the bypass tubing clamp, and secure the cable grip mechanism. Lower the bypass tubing and seal protector, until the seal protector lifting clamp, lands on the table. Set the bypass tubing safety clamp, on the bypass tubing and work table. Torque the safety clamp bolts to 200 foot-pounds. Remove the ESP lifting slings, and remove the elevators and swivel lift nubbin.
apply more pipe dope to the box thread if required. Pick up the ninth joint of bypass tubing, and suspend above the eighth joint. Remove the thread protector, and apply pipe dope to the pin thread if required. Make up to the eighth joint by hand, and torque with the pipe wrench to 500 foot pounds. Pick up the upper seal protector, and lower alongside the bypass tubing, with the painted line for the seal protector orientation lined up with the bypass tubing. Lower the upper seal protector into position, and bolt to the lower seal protector. Pick up with the elevators on the bypass tubing. Remove the safety clamp, and ESP lifting clamp, and keep some tension on the ESP lifting slings. Make up the bypass clamp, to the upper seal protector base and bypass tubing, securing the upper and lower MLE, and upper discharge pressure line in the cable clips. Lower the system, until the upper seal protector lifting clamp, lands on the ESP work table. Remove the ESP lifting slings. Pick up the pump section, complete with bolt on intake. Lower alongside the bypass tubing, with the painted line for the pump orientation, lined up with the bypass tubing. Lower the pump, and bolt the intake to the seal protector. Pick up slightly with the elevators and ESP lifting slings, and remove the ESP clamp from the upper seal protector. Lower the string, so that the connection between the bolt on intake, and the pump, is at working height. Make up the bypass clamp to the motor and bypass tubing, securing the upper and lower MLE, and upper discharge pressure line in the cable clips. Lower the system, until the top of the bypass tubing is at working height. Set the bypass tubing safety clamp, on the bypass tubing and work table. Torque the safety clamp bolts to 200 foot-pounds. Remove the elevators from the bypass tubing. Remove the swivel lift nubbin. Pick up the 10th and final joint of bypass tubing, and suspend above the 9th joint. Remove the thread protector, and apply pipe dope to the pin thread if required. Make up to the ninth bypass tubing joint by hand, and torque with the pipe wrench to 500 foot-pounds. Remove the bypass safety clamp, and lower the bypass tubing and the ESP, until the ESP lifting clamp lands on the work table. Remove the lifting slings from the ESP clamp, and install the bypass safety clamp, on the bypass tubing and work table. Torque the safety clamp bolts to 200 foot-pounds. Remove the elevators, and swivel lift nubbin, from the bypass tubing. Make up the discharge pressure sub, to the head of the pump, and secure with bolts. Change the elevators to 4.5 inch, and pick up the Y-tool assembly. Orientate, so that the pump sub with the check valve and discharge head, is lined up on the ESP side. Lower slowly, and mate the discharge head to the discharge pressure sub. Bolt the discharge head to the discharge pressure sub. Remove the ESP clamp, and align the telescopic swivel to the bypass tubing. Remove the four grub screws, that are currently retaining the support ring. Unscrew the support ring to release the swivel. Make up the swivel to the bypass tubing. Screw the lock ring back up the swivel, until it butts out. Screw the support ring back up the swivel, and secure by reinstalling the grub screws.
pick up with the elevators, and remove the bypass tubing safety clamp. Remove the ESP work table. Terminate the discharge pressure line, in the discharge pressure sub. Lower the discharge head to a working height. Make up the bypass clamp to the discharge head, securing the upper and lower MLE in the cable clips. Lower the system, until the Y block is at working height, and fit the upper and lower MLEs into the slots of the Y block, and secure the cable clips. Lower the system, and secure the handling sub in the slips. The Joule ESP system deployment is now complete. For more information about the UMS flow well range of ESP bypass systems, please visit our website.